Well, today I just want to get uh, another villager's house done in terms of the interior and exterior. So we're going to do that today. It's a little bit later than normal. I had to go to birthday dinner, so... I want to play Mario as well, so I'm on the clock here. But I'm good. I'm very, I'm very full. I had a lot of food. So... I'm kind of surprised, like, I, I'm not in a food coma. That's right, it is my birthday. <laughs> you know what, I've never actually played this on, on my birthday. Are they all gonna say happy birthday to me? Oh, hello. Good thing I waited here. I'd have been trouble if I didn't find you. And here, I really need you to come with me right now. No time to explain, let's go. Okay. Aww. This is wholesome. <laughs> Thank you for the birthday bits. I appreciate it a lot. Aww. Can you believe we all got together and planned the birthday party for you and you had no idea? I actually didn't. I didn't think this would happen in-game. It wouldn't be a birthday party without the cake. Go ahead, press A to blow out the candles. Don't forget to make a wish. Okay. <laughs> They're whistling like a caracha. <laughs> Very wholesome. But happiest of birthdays, my dear muffin. We have a special present we picked out for you. My goodness, I do hope you like it. We wanted to make this a day that you'll never forget. Just you wait and see. I do hope it's something you can use. That's right, I nearly forgot. We still have one more present for you. I'll go get it ready. You just wait there. All the best villages of your relationship as soon as that your birthday, and you get Nook Miles for celebrating your birthday. Oh, cool. And to making this just for you as a pinata. And guess what? There's a surprise inside of it for you as well, darling. I'll give you a stick, then all you have to do is give it a whack. Alright, cool. So I was an older sibling, and I got the honors of, like, getting the last hits on the piñata. Um... Wait, did I miss the instructions? I wasn't paying attention. Go ahead and stand the- oh, stand under the piñata. Okay, my bad, I thought I was gonna... Now, you may not look at it, but that piñata is one tough cookie. One little tippy tap won't do a thing. Trick is to hit it hard and fast, my dear. When I say start, mash A with enthusiasm. Uh, but yeah, I was an older sibling, older cousin. So... It was, uh... It was my job for a long time to be the person that did the last hit. <laughs> so I would just, like... Smack it open, and then all the kids would come in running. But then, eventually, I had to retire that. Oh well, well, you gave it what for, you know? You aren't half bad at this. Hope you enjoy the birthday cupcakes. Nice. Take your birthday cupcakes. Ugh, I'm so full, though. <laughs> we made a big batch, so perhaps you could share them with our friends who couldn't make it today. Well... Your birthday surprise event is a wrap. Watching you break that pinata nearly moved me to tears. What a powerful moment that was. Darling, all that's left for you to do now is enjoy your party to your heart's content. I mean, I'll go hand them out. <laughs> okay. It's kind of neat. My pocket is now stained because they're in my pocket. Yeah, oh well. Oh man, they've been waiting all day. It's like 9pm. Okay. 
this might be unpopular, but like, <laughs> I, I will have cake, but generally speaking, it's like, I don't have much of a sweet tooth. I'm more of a savory person, but for birthdays, like, I do the cake because it's something that the majority of people appreciate, and it's less for me. That's nice. Chocolate cake is scrumptious. I'll eat, I'll eat cake. I think typically if I'm having coffee, I'll have it. Or well, if it's at a birthday, I'll, I'll have a small slice, but nothing too over the top. Okay. Yes, flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Um, this is purple, so it's not right. But yeah, I mean, I, I ate a lot of food before, so I'm I'm full. And we did go get coffee, and I had like a vanilla slice. What's my favorite game? That's a hard question. This is like recently of all time. I have a list of games that I think at the end of last year there was like this thing going around where people shared an image of like their top 25 games. So I shared um, 25 games that in no particular order there are games that I think everyone should play because they're just great. But because I play so many different games and so many different genres, it's just hard to definitively go, okay, this is my absolute favorite game of all time. Because I love different games for different reasons. This is up there. Um, but I would say Stardew slightly ranks higher. Um, let me find that image. I'll, I'll say the games, all right? And that should give a good idea as to, like, the stuff that I'm into. Okay. So, this is, again, in no particular order. But these are the games that, over the course of my life, I've enjoyed a lot. Um, for different reasons. So, Super Mario Bros. 3. Mega Man 2. Uh, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Donkey Kong Country 2. Chrono Trigger, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Metroid Prime, Final Fantasy VII, Katamari Damacy, The Binding of Isaac, Stardew Valley, Terraria, Team Fortress 2, Diablo 2, Splunky 2, Hades, Risk of Rain 2, Warrior Wear Gold, Hollow Knight, The Witcher 3, Yakuza 0, Elden Ring, Vampire Survivors, Pizza Tower and Baldur's Gate 3, which is like a game that I thought was super well done recently. So that's like my 25 games that I feel like kind of represent the stuff that I, I play. It's a mix of everything. It's like RPGs, platformers, games that like might be a little bit weird conceptually, sandboxy types games, um, games that in put suffering upon the player. Uh, roguelikes. Yeah. I don't know. Probably not the answer you're looking for, but... It's such a hard question. It's the same- I'm the same with music. It's because I listen to just different stuff. It's... It depends what, what I'm doing. Sometimes music for me is, well, what am I doing? And that will be what the answer is influenced by. Alright, cool. This area is done now. Oh, Sasha's not home, though. But the roof looks better. This fits in better now with the new roof color. What I did yesterday. 
Yeah, cool. <laughs> I love this so much, just... I can't believe I didn't think to do this earlier, but it's okay. Alright, I can put the stools away. Anyway. I think it's just... This game would be higher rated for me. There's just little things about it that I think Stardew deals with it better. Stardew has things that um, I'm like, ah, eh, that could be better. But just stuff like the mass crafting thing, I don't know, man. And sometimes the dialogue, like when you're talking and want to do something, it takes... 30 seconds to a minute to do one thing, and you have to just repeat it over and over again. It's little things like that that I think is- I really love this game a lot. And I really enjoyed New Leaf, but they both share that same thing. It's just... There are certain things that take a while, for, some, for whatever reason, or they don't let you do it en masse. We'll see whatever the new game brings. I mean, as long as this is visually different, right? My socks match the glasses. Okay. Neat. That's not what I was trying to do. So, I didn't pay attention to flowers end up growing. Well, okay, no. It's okay. I mean, the important thing is I have purple now. The watering I have to do now on a daily basis is not not bad. It's just the roses and that. So I'm not spending as much time on it anymore, which is nice. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, I should look into the ordinance thing. Because I don't really care if the shop closes early. Like, that's less of a concern now. Well, uh, enough about me. How's everyone else doing? <laughs> I got distracted by the birthday thing. I'm, uh... I'm hoping I don't, like, get tired. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So, that's all I need to do. Uh, recipes... Daily Island... I'll, I'll do this as quick as I can, but today it's gonna be Peko's house that I'll work on. And 
get it to, uh... Be a certain look on the inside. I think the exterior I'll leave as is. It, it kind of fits perfectly, I think. I don't think I need to touch the exterior of the house. I think it's just the interior. And even then, it's, it's already pretty good. I just need to make it look more like a tea house inside. Oh yeah, um, what's the song? I'll do this now, actually. Just a sec. Okay, I've already got that song. I'll find out what the next song that I don't own is and request it. Alright, give me a sec, I just gotta look up the list, uh... Alright, here we go. Uh, what are we up to? Aria was, I think, the last one I requested. KK Ballad is next, okay. KK Ballad. Oh, now I got a better idea. <laughs> Hold on. I have a better idea. One that I definitely don't have. Wait, I don't get the request? Oh. No, it's, go it's going to... <laughs> I noticed, wait, there's a birthday. So wait, does does this song can you get this song only when it's your birthday and it's a Saturday? Me, me, now, now, oh, me, now, now, oh. Me, oh, wait, wait, now. oh man, that's so nice. Huh. This must be extra coincidental. <laughs> oh man, this is so wholesome. Me, me now, now, oh, me, na, na, oh, me, oh, wait, wait now. Na, me, oh, Any day that's your birthday? Oh, okay. Still, it's it's pretty funny that it's like uh on on a Saturday anyway. <laughs> it's the day that he's here. But I wanted, I wanted to request another song. It's okay. I'm not sure how this the song goes though. This is making me laugh. Okay, here's here's a story. When we went out to dinner. Afterward, we went to a place to get some coffee, and there was this dude that was trying to sell CDs at this coffee place. It wasn't walk he wasn't walking up to people or anything, but he had, um, like, very loud speakers, and he was playing his music extremely loudly. And... I mean, the whole time, it was, it was just, it was uncomfortable. You could see people, they were being polite, and they didn't really want to go to the guy and tell him, yo, can you turn it down? Everyone was being really polite about it. But the thing that was amusing was, so at first, 
you know, wasn't really paying attention to the music. It was just the fact that it wasn't mixed well. So like a certain instrument was just, it was clipping. And when audio is really loud, you can tell when something reaches a threshold. It just, it sounds unpleasant. So that was happening. But then he played another song and it was quiet. And, uh, that's when I kind of realized, wait a minute, why does this song sound familiar? And a little bit later it clicked, it was just, oh, wait a minute, all this dude's songs is he's taken other songs and kind of taken melodies from them, but then he alters them in a way where it's just like... It definitely wasn't a cover, it was like plagiarism, so there was one song that... It sounded like a Van Halen song, and I was almost positive about it, and then, yeah, someone else said it. <laughs> it's just... okay. But, I mean, what do, you, what do you do in that situation? It's like, do you walk up to the guy and tell him to, yet, to turn it down, or to go elsewhere? I don't know. You feel kind of bad, because the guy... I mean, he was an older dude, and it's just he was just trying to make some money off CDs. But the music was was so loud, man. Getting old? Yep. <laughs> hey, Nikto. And hey, Brightness Dawn. It just reminded me of um this video that someone once sent me of this dude doing covers of music. And it's someone that didn't speak English, so the way they would sing would be like what they thought the English words were. And was just playing all the music on, on a keyboard. And a harmonica, it was just... Dude was really into it, it was great. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go do the daily arm. I just want to get through this stuff, and then we'll go decorate Pekka's house. But yeah, it's uh, it was nice getting out eating, but I'm I'm so full. I had a nice time. Oh yeah, no, it was nice. Like, hanging out with my brothers and family is always nice. And, uh, one of my brothers gifted me the new Yakuza game, and I was like, Oh, man, but, like, I'm not, I'm not up to date. <laughs> and he, he was just like, yeah, hurry up, get up to date. Apparently this new one's been re really well received. Uh, he's told me that, yeah, like, it's it's been really well received, like, this is probably one of the best ones in the, se the series. It's, like, up there with the one I just played. The new one is a lot of fun. I've heard, yeah. It's supposed to be... So far, it's been really well received. So, uh, I mean, I've got six. I've got Like a Dragon, and I have um, The Man Who Erased His Name. So there's, like, three games to get through before I get to that point. And then one of my other brothers gifted me um, a game that I've been meaning to get, but I just haven't bought it. So I didn't know where I was going to squeeze it in. Well, two of them, actually. One of them is like a spiritual successor to Jet Set Radio. And then another one is, um, it's a Souls game, but it's a good one. It's like uh, Lies of P. So... I own both of those games now. Probably see them at some point. I did say that this year I was going to play at least a couple games that would make me suffer, so there you go. Because last year I only did chill games. I don't think I did anything that was too stressful or difficult. The new Jet Set Radio is good. Well, it's not the new Jet Set Radio. What's it called? It's like Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. 
That's what it's called. That's the game that I got. But it's supposed to be... Yeah. I've never played Jet Set Radio. It's one of those games that's been... Recommended to me as like a, a must play. Like, it's, it's good. So, we'll see. <laughs> Two more to add to the backlog. Alright, we're done here. But it's, now I'm even more torn about what to play next. It's, I had some ideas, but it's just... Now, it's just, well, do I play Lies of P? Do I play... Do I play the next Yakuza game? Do I play... Because I want to play a, a game that will let me do more... Another video on YouTube. So I have to squeeze that in. That's just... And then on the horizon, there's the Stardew Valley update. And, um... The Terraria update, which is just like... Now that I'm one year older, is there something I'd like to do differently from now on? What, like a New Year's resolution thing? I mean, I think the thing that I'm trying to work towards slowly is just... Recovering from just, I guess... This, the pandemic sort of thing. <laughs> The mindset of the pandemic. I don't know. I just, I felt really deflated during that time. And honestly, I haven't really started to recover until like last year. So this year I'm trying to give myself more time to just, I guess, exist and be me, you know. But also... I've been trying to create things as well, it's just... That's what I'm, I do Mondays and Tuesdays, like I've been working on video and content and just writing. But then also I'm trying to like do more things socially, you know? I'm alright in my own skin and being alone, but sometimes it's just like... I don't know, that can't be the case forever. So, just that. Just getting to, I guess, a better mental state. I don't talk about that sort of stuff too much because, well... People do come here to chill out and, I don't know, I just... They might, I feel like it might kill the buzz vibe, whatever, a little. <laughs> but... It's just, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. That's pretty much it. Like, I, I don't really have anything that's like a moonshot and just aiming for something big. It's more just, well, I've started doing these little things and just hopefully it's just something that makes me happier in general. And that's all I can really do. Wait, General Kenobi? <laughs> Wait, I need these. Oh yeah, I need to hand these out. Hey Nick, how's it going? I'm good. No. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe I could still pick another song. I can't. There was a star quote meme. What's the meme about? Am I just... Oh, man. <laughs> it's making me feel older. Loud. 
Explain the meme to me. What, what's the joke? Okay. Nothing here worth buying. It's a YouTube video. Okay, let me mute my system audio. Just so there's no DMCA. Hello there. No audio, yeah, but still. It might pick up on the fact, oh, this dude's streaming Star Wars. It's just not taking any chances. Oh, okay, I got it, because Nick wrote hello there. Okay, I got it, ha ha. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done with the flowers, okay. Uh, let me go just check on the art at Harv's and then I'll, I'll get started on Pekka's house. But I think I know what I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, crap. I went to the Daily Island. Ugh. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I was gonna get, um, stuff from the Daily Island. I was gonna get hedges so then I could plant them. It doesn't matter. I'll just buy some. Doing great. What about you? I'm all, I'm good. It's been a good day. I'm just I ate a lot of food, so I'm very very full right now. Oh, I don't want either of these. Take the statue. Um, yeah, I got some some nice gifts. I got more games now <laughs> that I have to look at playing, but yeah, that's like first world problem. What am I going to do with all these games? Um, my brother and his partner did get me a nice, uh, it's like a, a wooden, what you... I guess it's like a bowl, but the point is you, you put snacks in there so you can put like cheese and, uh, chips and then there's like a place to either put a drink or dip and then it has like little knives to cut cheese with very fancy <laughs> i was looking at the knife and i was like yo that knife's cool it's actually it's actually pretty nice something i will definitely get use out of I see an unexpected present, and I see someone smiling as I receive it. That someone is you. Your luck would belong. Is that just because it's my birthday? That's something that I never thought I would own. It's just like, I now have something to specifically designed to, like, serve cheese and dip with, and knives to actually cut cheese with. <laughs> what have I got? Oh, man. I've... I've changed. But potato chips are just so expensive, that's the thing. It's just... it's better... ...to get... ...cheese and, like... ...snacks with that. Um... Okay. So we're gonna redo the fence between Pekko and, um, Alice's. Mm. 
But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mentioned it before, so I got the new Yakuza game. Which now I have to get through the other three <laughs> to get to it. Um, my brother got Lies of P for me and um, Bomb Funk Cyberpunk. Bomb Funk? Bomb Rush, not Bomb Funk. Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. So. The older you get, the more excited you are to have mundane stuff. As gifts. Your mom got you back and cleaned up for your birthday one year and you raved about it for days. I've kind of always been like that, though. Like, I... I, I don't know. It doesn't matter what people get me. Like, I am always super appreciative that they've... They thought of me and got me something. And... It's just always been the case since I, I was a kid. Um... So, you know, if I would get underwear and socks, I'd be happy with that, man. Particularly, uh, even more as an adult, like, I, I get it, it's mundane, but it's like, yes, I don't have to go buy that stuff. Hell yeah. I've never returned something someone's given me. I don't know. Just for me, I, I guess it just feels strange to have someone think of you and try to, like, give you something and then be like, nah, I don't want that. Line was here, so I still got a couple more. Okay, and then here. Hopefully, I did get enough. Never say it to their face, but there are a few shirts have been gifted that haven't left the closet yet. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I've, I definitely have t shirts or shirts that I've, I've worn. They're like. They're not worn as much, but they're still worn. It's just like, they're for a particular occasion. Alright, cool. That's So this is going to be the new fence line. It's just going to be that. That's understandable. It's like a fashion thing. As long as you have the intention of, like, actually wearing... Had the intention of wearing them. There we go. I was also cleaning up today just because there's still some random boxes that I didn't really quite move around. And in moving around boxes, I found my old PS Vita. And that's something I've actually been looking for for a while. Because there are some games on there that I would kind of want to play again and stream. And there is a way to do it. You just have to um, do a certain thing to your console. You know, it's just, I've, I've heard that there are certain things you can do to your consoles to unlock features that weren't originally part of the console. Such as being able to stream it. But, I found it. I'm happy I found it. The Vita was a cool device. It's just, I think, Sony gave up on it too early. I would like to see Sony do another portable, it's just... 
I don't think they will. Alright, let's get to this. The Vita and PSP were way ahead of their time. Yeah, particularly the Vita, like it had an OLED screen. And just all that, the features in it, it was like dual cameras, the touchpad. At the back, like, it was, it was a cool device. I think both times, their biggest downfall was, was the media they ultimately cho chose, like, UMD being like a proprietary format, and then the Vita was like the whole memory card thing. Instead of using a normal memory card, they're like, nah, buy this special memory card that only works on Vitas, and they're like 30% more expensive. Uh, that's just, yeah. Um, let's talk about homes. And then they tried to go all digital as well, which again, another thing that's like ahead of its time. It would have been nice, but it's just too early for something like that. Do I have a dream address for the island? Not yet. Um, I'm only going to do it at the end when I'm done. I have this thing <laughs> where I don't like sharing stuff until I'm completely done and happy with it. Unless I want feedback, that's the only, that's the only thing. Um, okay, so today it is... where is she? I've gone past her. There. Eventually I'll have a dream address and I'll, I'll share it. Probably to Reddit as well. It's just like, hey, look at my island. Go, go visit it. I might even just make a video about it. It's like, alright, this is, this is my island. This is what it looks like. Visit it. Here's the dream address. If I have enough time, I might, like, just montage the days where I was working on it. Um, let's just check out the exterior. There might be something. Nowadays, you can buy a Vita with all the games pre-installed on it, but it's worth getting for a casual gamer. Well, that's the one thing the Vita was good for. It was just, it became a really good indie machine. Um, I might change the roof, actually. I don't know, I think the house is, is good, like, for a... a tea house, to be honest. I don't think I would change a thing. Maybe, maybe just that. Yeah, just that. That's fine. Um, there is a Katamari game on the Vita that I've heard is really good, and there was an, a game that came out towards the end of the life of the console that was built around all the features of it that was really highly rated. I can probably pick them up secondhand pretty pretty well, so I'll, I'll look into it. I just need to get it capable of streaming. Um, but one game I've had the urge of playing is um, the Dracula X Chronicles, which is like a remake of uh, Rondo of Blood, and it only came out on the PSP. But I bought a digital copy on the Vita, so I do have that game, and it's it's excellent. Okay, so again, for this one, I'm, I'm taking my time. It's just, there's no timer here. I'm just gonna make a tea house. So we're gonna put away her stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's just work on it. Start with the floor. I'm 
I'm trying to base it off. I've I've been to a tea house. It's they're pretty nice. Started playing Blasphemous, it's really good, not hard, really good looking, and a good world, yeah. That one's been just on my mind. <laughs> you, it'll definitely be something I'm playing this year, I just don't know when. The pixel art looks good, and I've heard the second game is, is really good too. This might be the ticket. Okay, so... The thing about these is they're gonna follow almost identical layout, because I think this is... At least for the house, if you want to split it into being a mix of, like, business and whatever. Um, this is the layout that I figured works best for that, which is... Three panels here. And then the room is kind of divided. That's like... Let's get wood. Do that. Okay. And I'm gonna do the whole thing. That's gonna be pretty similar to... What I did for Sasha's, but it's, it's a good layout. Um, where is it? There it is. Oh, actually, I'll keep it red. All right. Um, let's go back to the order. Oh, see, this is the thing. I need to walk up to it. What was the music, this? Yeah, it's the music. Okay, I got it. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know sh uh, That's probably too big. I mean, I, I guess I could do that. It's just she won't have much else. Right, let's, just, let's just work with this for now. Does that let you get into bed? I'll, I guess I'll test it later. Um, traditional tea set. We're not gonna go to low tables, so what I wanna do, let me look here. It's like cute table. That's the one that I used outside. Uh, where is it? That one, and in red. So, I mean, I'm, it's fine just it being one bit of seating, I think. It's just a place indoors. It's, you know, I won't be able to get much in. Or maybe, what about this? This might be better. So it was like black, and then the pattern was... Where is it? That one. We'll just ignore that it's like it's not realistic <laughs> but 
Um, it'll it'll work. It's just I'll just put the chairs there. It's just more seating. It's okay. Actually, I got a better idea. I have a better idea that you're gonna like. Assuming it works. Good, it works. I just want to see the movements of each. Give me a minute. Good. All right. So they're, they're here having tea. Was the fancy tea set? It should be here somewhere. I'm not sure what it falls under, that's the problem. Uh, this one is going to have a cash register because she's running a tea house. There we go. And where is the... Where is it? That's what I was after. There we go. I mean, sure. That's like it's, it's still tea. Let's use that. That's a nice one. Okay, lighting is next. I think it's going to be pretty straightforward. Set. Okay, hang some drapes over here. Maybe not over here. Okay, I think that's fine. Oh, it's already got it ready. Taking my time here, so there's no rush. There is. Hold up. Thing what can be done with this? Might change the flooring. I'm just looking at it and eh. I think at the very least what I should do is. Uh oh. Hold 
want. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. Alright, let's do this. Like just a pass straight up the middle. Do that. Also, this should be like this. There we go. Give me a sec to mess around with the floors a bit more. I think this is better. And then if I want... Yeah, this is much better. Much better. Okay. Where's that? Even this might work well. the other one go? I heard it. Alright, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yeah? That's better. And then... Oh, it's four by four. Damn. I was hoping it'd be three by three. What have I got that's three by three? I mean, it might just be fine to do that. Yeah, okay. Carpeted area, that's all good. I guess what I can do... This can be moved, like, half. It's just to give the bedroom more room. It's just it's a little... This is the problem with this, is, like, for this to be correctly functional, it needs to kind of sit here. Yeah. I mean, what other beds are there? Like, I know this is her bed, but it, it just takes up so much space. I know I'm downgrading her <laughs> by doing this, but I'll upgrade in the way of more furniture. I mean... This is, this is on theme. It's just, it's definitely a heavy downgrade. It's just, I, I'm aware, it's, it's a bit of a downgrade. But it just gives me more options. Okay, there we go. And then... I'll make up for it. Oh, wait, but she's already got that. That's... Oh, I didn't even realize that was there. That's getting moved. 
Okay, the other thing I haven't customized is the walls, so let's do that. Should be right. Um, yeah. I mean, this is probably more correct. I can see the windows are in the way. Um, I can get rid of the windows though. That is literally a tea room wall. change this because this can become that. Yeah, that's better. We'll work with it. Hang on, let me see what else we got in rugs. I don't know if we have many other 3 by 3s I guess I don't really have much of a choice here, do I? Alright. That's fine. Keep going. So I can put here. Oh yeah, no, this is this might work. Do this. really sticking out here. I don't want to keep reusing this pattern even though it... Imagine you're running a tea house or a, a place of business and then you're wearing clothing that's the same color as your upholstery. <laughs> the same pattern. There's, uh, there's a clothing company here in Australia that, um, they sell clothing which is specific to, um, the fabric they use on public transport seats. So you can get a t-shirt that is public transport seating <laughs> colors. 
Uh, it kind of feels like that, anyway. Let's just move past that. It's kind of nice. And this is still functional. It's still... It still works. I'll go with that. Um, we have like a little... Hold on, where is it? If I can place this here. Oh, come on, it's a shelf. I can't place it there. Your international airport had such an iconic carpet pattern that people still make clothes and merch out of it <laughs> years after they tore it out. That's funny. I mean, when the design is good, the design is good. segment this any further. Um, okay. Or something. Or the alternative, let me try this. This is another alternative. I'll be back and forth with this stuff, but I'm curious how well this is gonna work. It's too low. What are the tall ones like? It's just privacy curtains, which I think this will work. And then if I... I'm just looking at the, the colors, it's not that it's gonna be this. Oh, but see. Hmm, I don't know. I think the drapes are probably better. Let's go back to history. There we go. It might be a bit overused, but fine. Oh wait, that wasn't it. This. I think it's fine. Okay, uh, prerequisites. Every time I will do this. Just cannot have... Any place here without air conditioning is just not going to be a thing. Wooden one, there we go, that fits. And it's a place of business, we've got to have exit signs. It's... Okay. 
Does this suck? Is this... Okay, it's not in the way. Alright, so... That and... That. Is there something? There's probably something better. There's anything like tea house worthy here. But there's definitely a lack of uh, things to hang up. Okay, I think this is probably a good one. This is this is fine. It's just flowers. It's pretty generic enough. Comedian signature, musician signature. Yeah, this. These look good. Um, I mean, I reckon put them here, like, it's the point of sale, it's like, oh, these are the famous people that have come to this establishment. I mean, that's a replica. I don't have the one with the very popular one, which is the waves. You know which one I'm talking about. I don't have that piece of art. That'd be a nice one to hang here. Maybe eventually I can hang that up. I might leave that as just, uh, yeah, maybe in future. I'll, I will get that piece of artwork eventually. Yeah. I mean, that, that might have enough plants already. What else can I do? Okay, again, in terms of functional room... Light switch and light switch here. Mm, I mean, I 
I've already got that on the wall. <laughs> the music with the uh, the noises the gyroids are making. I don't know. Making me laugh. Okay, we still got, we can still put more furniture down. I mean, I think a tea house needs a kitchen. No. alter the plan just ever so slightly. It's okay, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, I need a kettle. I mean, that's a water pitcher though. that even. That's fine. I've said this before, but like I would not be able to sleep in a room with an analog clock. <laughs> it would drive me crazy. My grandma had one and man, that thing kept me up. It's part of the reason that I watch like Spongebob at three in the morning. This is sometimes... I just couldn't sleep, that clock. But also part of me being a night owl, but the clock. <laughs> the clock was partly to blame. Yeah, that's better. That's fine. So then the way I can fix this is like, put that there, there we go. Doesn't necessarily have to be coffee, it's like, yeah, they're making tea there. Neat. Same thing when you stay at your grandparents, you hid the clock in the dryer, I oh, see that's a good idea. Unfortunately, the clock was too big. I couldn't. I couldn't hide the clock. It was a big one. <laughs> it would have been nice if I could do that. One thing I did do, um, because I was living there for a while, um, I slept in the living room. But one thing I did, I'm gonna put it up here. <laughs> Out of reach. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, hang on. Right, so one thing I did, if I wanted to use the computer late at night, because it was dial-up internet back then, I would have to, um, I'd have to get a pillow and smother the phone with the pillow so then the noises of dial-up wouldn't wake anyone up. <laughs> it's just, and Matt, just, I've said this before, but just... Make your phone put an alarm for th and make that alarm go off for 30 seconds, and then don't touch that alarm for 30 seconds. That's basically what connecting to the internet was. It was just, hey, this loud sound is going to play for 30 seconds straight. I think we 
got wiggle room here. Like, this you know, it doesn't have to be directly on the wall. I think that's fine. There we go. That's a bit better. This chest is bothering me a little. To the point where, like... I think what I'm gonna do... It's nice, but it's, it's just, it takes too much space. So what I'm gonna do instead... I do like the wood that I've done, so that's okay. Um, hang on. Where is it? I'll know it when I see it. that like we're gonna we're gonna get this so it's it'll look nice mm. green 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 goes fine with this maybe eh. I might have to get natural I like the plates of this better but I think like this is better suited. But that's not what I was looking for. Where is it? It'll be here somewhere. I wonder if they're going to stop teaching how to read analog clocks eventually. Is that just going to be a... Th I guess there's still big ones out in public, but do people even look at them anymore? I get the feeling it, it might be something that eventually just stops being taught, or it might just be taught as a novelty. What the heck? Where is this thing? It's like a, it's a single counter. I know, I've used it before in Happy Home, it's just... Uh, I've probably gone past it a couple times, I'm just blind. Where is it? I think this... No, oh no, oh no, there it is, thank you, jeez. That's what I was looking for. Surprised there's no red one. Go with that. Maybe red now. Yeah, that's better. I might be using, like, a little too much black here. <laughs> I have a habit of leaning towards black. That's better. Better contrast. And now I'm, I'm altering a lot. This doesn't quite have the right colors that I want. I might get rid of it. It's just, it's not good enough. Which, if I'm doing that, then I may as well bring this back in. And that's better now. And now we can get rid of this. Yeah, this, I, I'm more of a fan of this now already. Um, so... Hmm. 
which then this comes off the floor. Whoops. Hey, what's going on? There. Okay, and then we get a little... Where is it? I've seen it before. This thing. There we go. Or... No, maybe green. Because I've already got pink behind it. Yeah, this is better. That's better. I think there's a way I can make it work. I was thinking of using the mat in the bedroom instead, but I don't... They're both 3x2 and that's a 3x3 three three space. I don't think there's any way I can do something that fits in. Yeah. It's okay. I think this is, this is fine. Um, <laughs> is anyone tired of the music yet? Less is more. Okay, well now this is like off. This should be here. That's better. I'm just thinking what else I can have. Just a book by the bed. That's like a, a nice little decoration. That it's you don't think that it's gonna get in the way. It's just well, yeah, yeah. Japanese literature. It's like ah, oh, you can pick it up anytime, and that's fine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing, which is now we're gonna do ambient lighting. Yeah. I think, uh, orange is probably better. I think chatter. <laughs> Just make it seem like it's, it's busy. It's a place of business, there we go. I didn't do a soundscape for the arcade, which... Missed opportunity. There we go. That, I think that looks very cozy now with the light change. This is still functional, right? Again, I'm taking taking my time. I think the one thing that I might change is just the pattern on this. That's actually kind of neat. 
I kind of like that. That's pretty. That's pretty distinct. I like that. It is on theme. I like from an art style point of view. I like that. Um, this one might change as well. It's just I think. Yeah, that. This makes more sense. That's better. Am I really gonna do this? <laughs> yeah, that's better. The only thing is I wish I had a better rug. There is something I can try, hold on. Uh, cause I can do two by three. just not a hundred percent happy okay and then that that's better except hang on I'd want to do that and then hold on Yeah, Dude, that's, I think that, that's better. That contrasts a lot better. I just, I wasn't happy with the, the dark carpet, it just didn't work. It was too much going on there that was just dark in color, just not balanced right. I want to hang something above here, but I'm not sure what. The problem is because I have that scroll next to it, I can't just hang another one. There really needs to be more shelf items. doesn't make sense. <laughs> how how insane would this drive you? <laughs> if this was here. Ugh. Do I have... Maybe I might have... Oh. I got an idea. There. She has a framed copy of the artwork that's featuring her. There you go. Maybe not there. I think this is fine. I think this needs to go up one higher. There we go. And then... Yeah, that's neat. Okay. Just above your bed. Like, all proud. Not sure if there's anything else I want to hang. Maybe this this will work too. It's just yeah, it's terrarium. Oh, can't ugh, I can't put it where I want. I wanted to put it on the wood. That's currently in the way. All right, never mind. Probably up too high, right? <laughs> Is that up too high? That might be up. Uh, I think that's up too high. It's not really practical. Mm. 
Yeah. I think I'm good. I think this is this is good, right? Room is functional. Though it is a downgrade in terms of the bed that used to be here. Like, imagine going from a nice, luxury, big bed. And your interior decorator is like, Oh no, you gotta sleep on the floor. See, I had to get rid of this bed you had that's like a, a possession that's no longer necessary. It improves the feng shui of the room. The room is allowed to breathe more. Sleep on the floor. <laughs> no, but this is good. I like it. There you go. There's Pekka's tea house, I think, is, is done. And when you combine it with, what, with what's outside, it's it's good. Yeah, sleep on the floor. That'll be $50,000, thank you, for the design consultancy. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Yeah, this, this is gonna look nice. And once those hedges come in, it'll it'll look good. Okay, but we're not completely done. All oh, right, I'm not at her house. <laughs> So, yeah, it'll be... It'll work because this side will actually be a garden. Have hedges here. But then it'll also work better with Alice's place, because it's like I'm loosely basing it off... I guess what I see in Australia. It's like the colours, and there's like a little pond with ducks, and... Particularly this flower arrangement here, where it's like green up the back, and then there's just like yellow and orange. Loosely based off what I see. With the exception of these lights. These lights are just, well... It's just decorative. So Alice's house will probably be next. But that one... It's not going to be a place of business. It'll be like a living area, so... Alice will get like a nice house. I'll try to make it fit with the rest of it. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll probably do more here. Just as it stands right now, can't, because I'm still dealing with the flowers. Okay, but anyway. The next part of this is... We are... I'm going to keep this... The top one as a guide for now. A scorpion outside my venue. That's, uh, that's concerning. Hold on. I'm worried that this net is going to miss. It's kind of in a pretty annoying spot. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay. Right, so... Castle wall. There. Move it down. Is it? And then it's this. Okay. Then it's this. It'll work. Uh, an evil building site. Oops. Hold on. Please be normal. Thank you. Okay. And then I need it to face the other way. Because I want the light to face the tea house side. Hang on. Oh, man. Whatever they do next for this game, I hope that it allows you to do things like you do in Happy Home. Eventually. Not right off the bat, but eventually. 
because having to do this to get things into position is just such a hassle sometimes. Okay, there we go. Yeah. back in position. So now, there, there's like a nice light here. And then, I think I have two more. I'll go have a look. But the idea is keep building the walls up so then it's like if it makes sense to have a brick wall like this at a tea house that's in this style. I think it looks nice. The only thing I might customize is this. This is wooden. I think I might make the red one. Then that fits with the rest of it. Um, yeah. Ooh, I gotta do this quickly because Harv is gonna... It's like 5 to a lot. Jeez, it's that late already. Um, it's gonna close. I better go do this now. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do it. <laughs> I hope they will. Either way, whatever the next Animal Crossing game is, I'm definitely going to put in an effort from the get-go to make things look nice. Um... Because I did not do that. <laughs> the first time I played this game. Hurry up! <laughs> I've only got four minutes! Before they close. Alright. Oh, see, I forgot to, like, pose for a photo inside Pekka's house. Oh, well, I can do it later. Um. That one, and give me... Oh. I don't think there's... See, this is why we need more pattern slots. Because I would have done, like, a nice T one that would have fit in properly, but... B. <laughs> no, let's just go... That, that's fine. That'll fit in nicely. the other thing is just increasing the amount of patterns we can hold. It needs to be like at least twice as much as what we currently have. It's just there's so many different kinds of items and it's just super restrictive otherwise. Uh, where is the wall? Oh, here we go. Uh, yep, that's the one we want. That's also the one we want. I may have to buy another one. It's not that one. This one. I mean, you can do some nice things with these walls. This one. Okay. Uh, there's only one minute. Um, I'm gonna go to work and just check what's on... ...on sale over there.
I'm still hoping for that doghouse. <laughs> Wait, do they host music festivals here every week? Damn, become a real party island. I'm guessing every Sunday. Hey, where's the bottle? Where's my bottle? I haven't been here, right? Like, uh, is my memory failing me is like old man status just instant now. <laughs> like, I'm starting to go senile. Because I'm older, like, what's going on? Where's, where's the bottle? What? Isn't there one here every day? I haven't been here today, I don't... At least I don't think I have. I'm gonna have a look. What's in store? What is that? Oh, stadium lights. Water closet. Um, I don't think I have this. I mean, if I want to do someone playing music outside again, it's like, that's a good pickup. Um, yeah, no, I'm good. Let's check what the currency is. I definitely haven't been here. 333. Three, three. Nope. All right, I'll go get the recipe from chicken. It's okay. I need to order another castle wall. I might be short one. <laughs> yeah, what what gives? That's my bottle. There's no other place it can appear, right? Like, it's along the shoreline. There's no hidden beach or something, is there? I'll look one more time, but I, I guess it's not here? Yeah, what gives? Alright, whatever. I looked. I don't know. It's not here. Uh, yeah, let's go back now. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> this is going to look so nice once it's all done. Oh, hang on, I can do that. Oh, but it's not done yet. It'll be done tomorrow. So, give me a minute. Oh, yeah, right, the Tory. I knew something was missing. <laughs> um... Yeah. I think that just fits better. There we go. And... Castle wall. Castle wall. And then it's just one more here. I mean, I might... How did I do it on the other side? Oh, okay. No, just another medieval. Yeah, that's cool. Get another one of the medieval ones. It's cheaper anyway. It's symmetry. It'll work. Okay. Um... Just a sec, I gotta find it. Medieval building site. Cool. Um, the outdoor bathtub, <laughs> I kind of placed it there because I got it early on. It's not that nice, is it? It's just like, I should probably get rid of it. And place something more fitting there. Oh, it's this barrel. <laughs> let me let me see what else I have. That's been there for a long time. It's been there for ages. Time immemorial. All right. Um. What have I got? Something that would make sense to put. Hold on. There's another adjustment I might make. Assuming the statue's like a one by one. Uh... I guess that's the other thing. It has to be like a one by one or a one by two. Hmm. don't really have... <laughs> I don't really have anything I can place there. But I'd be happy with replacing that barrel with. Like, the barrel... I think it should be removed, but only if I have, like, a better alternative. Which I currently don't. Hmm. Maybe I should... I guess I have to leave it. Until I get something better. Yeah. I 
I don't I don't have anything. Okay. Mm oh, see, that's nice. Why can't I don't... Why can't I just say cube light purple? That'd be nice. Anyway. Um... I'll see if I can craft something, because there might be something craftable. Maybe I can just put another flower there and that will be enough. Let's see what we have. See, this is a nice item, but I just need the appropriate things. Ah, oh, yeah, that could work. Yeah, that could work. Okay, um, I just need stone. There we go. I think that's a good replacement. Uh, certainly beats just a random barrel full of water. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Hold on. Stone. Okay, and I'll customize and see what we can do with that. I reckon mossy. We kind of like it being weathered a little. Okay. I need to be careful. I think I need to move these flowers, at least this flower temporarily. Otherwise, I'm gonna pick it. Oh, I still have, oh, okay. I need to go make this consistent and get, um, get another one of these, which I think I have. I should have one already pre-made. Where are they? There. It's this one. This should already be ready to go. I don't know which one I'm placing, but it doesn't matter. It's not like it's... Do I have that? That's the thing with these beetles, it's hard to tell. Okay, I do. Alright. So... Uh, where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. That. Push that back. Um, the lion. Then 
and replant that. There we go. That's better. Much better. Instead of a random <laughs> oil barrel. That looks that looks good. Ah, it wasn't completely in line. Uh yeah, and then tomorrow I'll add the other missing wall, and then it's cool. It'll look nice overall with the house. I don't think I've gotten who's crafting today. Ah, there you go. Oh, I don't have plain cupcakes. Okay. It'll look good. If I can get these blue roses before I run out of houses to do, I'll be happy. Then it's, it's timed correctly and I can work towards getting this island done. Not home yet? Not home yet. I wanted to see the inside of the house now that it's done. Oh yeah, I forgot to give out the cupcakes. Um... Wait, I can't give you a cupcake? Uh, green tea. Everyone you know has been relying on you so much you're exhausted. Jeez. Wait, I can't give them anything. Hey. My place looks amazing. Thanks for all the hard work. I'm just out here because I was staring so hard at how cool everything looks in there that I got a headache. Anyway, if you want to see it for yourself, go ahead. Just, you know, don't stare too hard. I want to, I want to see it. Scoot. I can't give, I can't give him... Cupcakes. I'm off to patrol. I'm leaving that sector over there to you. Ah, <laughs> uh, both of them. I've remodeled their houses and they they're both here. Oh well. He said I can go in. Uh, I doubt I can. Yeah. Ugh, damn it. Oh well. All right. Daily furniture and then I think we're good. I'm still hoping for that dog house. Another day where I'm hoping for blue roses. Oh, the ordinance. I should check out the ordinance. Which one? The beautiful island one, or whatever it was. If that increases the odds of blue roses, I'm all for it. Bunk bed.
that's fine. <laughs> I know these are fossils. I don't know. Like, I, now that I'm done with the collection, I'm just gonna leave them. I think eventually... So, when I do make the, the dream address, whatever it is, I will remove the fossils. Before I do it. I think I'll keep it simple and just stick to the ones that I know are going to generate stuff. Um, how's this going? I still want one more fly before I, I put this away. Just so then I can get a model of it if I want. Alright. Whoa, man. I, I worry about my island sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'm running around and things just load so slowly. I think it's, I just have too many flowers. Most of them are going to go eventually. Once I figure out what I'm doing with the decorating, but... Sometimes it does struggle. I'm just checking if there's any more star pieces, star fragments. I think I got them all. Okay. Oh, no. no. There we go. I can see another one over there. Okay. Now... Because this doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> I just didn't know what to replace it with, but I think... Yeah, look, I'm, I'm more happy with that. This is, this is fine. This can go there instead of the Statue of Liberty. I just don't, I don't think it makes sense to have that here. There we go, that, that, that's better. I think. I hope. <laughs> okay. because I want things to be loosely based around Australia and that's, that's out of place. I just had nothing better to put there until now. Um, I'll sell the rest of this junk tomorrow. Alright, let's just make sure I put in an order for some stuff. I might get more um... Because I've been using the medieval thing, the medieval walls, quite a bit, so I might get a couple of those. They've been very useful. One, two, three. Damn it, gotta get money out. Money is slowly draining. <laughs> I had so much money. Okay, it, it should be enough to finish what I want to do. Okay. Uh, that one. Okay, cool. As long as I'm buying stuff, um, I feel
feel like I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Oh, I know what I've forgotten. I haven't done the uh, the money tree or the money rock. There's one thing that I've been tempted to do, and I, I don't know if I want to risk it, but it's... Deleting these rocks and trying to make them grow here again. Because as nice as this is, right, it's just... It bothers me that there's not a, a tile of sand underneath, you know? And I did put this rock here to make it look like, well, it's intentional, but it's it's still, it's been bothering me for the longest amount of time, but I, I just worry that it's just not going to grow in the spot that I want it to. You think it looks cool with the grass, really? I don't know. Because <laughs> if you look at Zen Gardens, they don't have grass, it's just like a, a large patch of sand. That's kind of what I was going for. But I guess it's missing like the, uh, it's supposed to have like a pattern in it. I don't know, like I, I've been back and forth between it. It's one of these things where if, if I try it, it's just like, I'm probably going to have terrible luck with it. It was a miracle that they kind of appeared like this in the first place. I was like, wow. And I, I put the wall and the bench and yeah. I've kind of been lucky with the rock placements because now a lot of them, I've made them appear in the mountains. So the mountains I can make look pretty natural. Because there's like, yeah, there's rocks everywhere up here. I will do something with this eventually, so it's right now it's still rough. I don't know, it's something very minor, but... I mean, even here, right, like... That rock there is on the actual path, and I kinda don't want it to be. <laughs> but it's, do I, do I risk it, destroy the rock, and then it, it just doesn't come back here? Because a lot of the times it was appearing where the flowers were. The only, I think the only way I can do this and guarantee it is to place... Because I think it works by proximity. So if I'm going to do this, I have to place, like, stamps everywhere. Just random stamps. So then it's like, well, don't, don't put it here. It might be worth the effort. Oh crap, I feel- Oh, no, I'm an idiot. I feel- ugh, I didn't- Okay, I didn't put money in the hole. Whoops. I autopiloted. <laughs> well, no money uh, tree today. That's okay. Oh. That's kind of annoying. Okay, well. Now I have to dig up the fossil because- No, wait, do I? Okay, there's one way to test. Drop. Yeah, I have to dig up the fossil. Okay. Oh, it's a gyroid. Alright, well. Still. There might be something that I just have to do, like, a fine-tune of at the end is just, well... I think once I've cleaned- unraveled this mess... ...of, uh, just what's gonna happen on the rest of the island, then I can go, okay. 
I'm gonna try to get these rocks in places that I want. That might be very, very overkill, but... It would be nice if I could do it. I, I think I want to try and localize them all to, like... This upper area. I'll just put this here. Uh, uh, that looks bad. These are kind of just stray at the moment, just because I, I don't really want to get rid of them until I know what I'm doing, but I'll just put them along the river. Alright. Um... There we go. I'll probably do it. It's, it's just, if I'm making this island the best I, I can be with it, it's, I have to. I have to try. I think the way to get into it is just, I have to go around with a stamp and just stamp places where it's just a potential for a rock to grow, and then hopefully I can get it to place in a spot that I want it to. Okay. Well, that's, that's it for now. Tomorrow this will be, uh, will be done. I can place the wall here, but then I move, keep moving this way, and I'm gonna work on Alice's place tomorrow, the interior. Maybe the exterior as well, I might change a couple things here and there, but, I mean, this house is like, it's in the style that I want it to be, more or less, on the exterior anyway. It's kind of like this one, this one I just added a welcome sign, so I didn't really touch the exterior because I think it fit. That'll be tomorrow. So, stream's not over. I'm just wrapping up Animal Crossing. I want to continue Mario, so we're gonna do that next. But if you were watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you have been enjoying Animal Crossing. And if you do wanna support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just hit the like button, or you can also watch me play other things by clicking one of the videos that pop up. Either way, it does help out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. But we'll uh, do more of this soon. Alright, see you YouTube.